Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a, a viewer or subscriber emailed me last night or yesterday and then emailed me last night when I got up this morning. Um, he wants to fit this object to path. Evidently in Corel X8, in the full version, it has ob object to path. He has the home version and it doesn't have it. And I've, I've, I'd have never had X8. Uh, I have X7, but I don't use it for the videos. I use X6. But here's this clip art that he sent me. So I went ahead and traced it. And you can see it's good, crisp vector art. Now, if you were going to wrap this around uh, continuously, it is symmetrical, but you wouldn't, if you butted these two things up, let's just make a control D. And if you butted these two things up, then these, these two lines here would be doubly thick. I don't have them butted up perfect, but you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to take this and we're going to zoom in here and we're going to get rid of one of these lines. So just left click right click take your two point line and get on that node and hold down your control button get on that node and hold down your control button so you have a it'll be square with the other one now we're just going to color fill with black everything else with the smart fill tool now we can take our smart fill away. We don't need this anymore. We got our new shape. And as you can see, it's it, now it'll continuously run. Now, I, about a year ago, I made a video on how to do this. But I guess I've learned a little bit more. And this is a lot easier. So we've got a, I've, I've made two circles prior. They're about the right height to encompass this doesn't have to be perfect but what I'm going to do I'm going to take my two point line and I'm just going to hold down my control button and I'm going to go right to the edge I'm going to hit P just to make sure it's in the center grab my pick tool again and I'm going to move up with my um, holding down the control button I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to move my rotation to the center Sometimes it doesn't do it, but it did. Now I'm going to take my object and hit P on the keyboard and get it in the center. I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to put it in the center. Now I'm going to take my two point line, double click on it till I get my rotation, and I'm just going to rotate it till about where I think it needs to be, and it's 16.1 degrees. Well, 16.1 or 16 won't divide into 360 degrees. So we're going to make it 15. You need something to visible. Now I'm going to control D and I'm going to go the opposite way. So I need 345. So now you have a 30 degree arc there. We're going to take our smart field tool. This time using a light gray, just preference. Move it out of the way. Then select this and go up to Effects, Envelope, Add New, because you've selected this. Now get your eyedropper tool and put it in your gray. It has changed that. Now put Apply. Now hit P on your keyboard. And it will not be in the center. I'm going to hold down my Control button. And as you can see, it's a little bit off. And I think that has to do with the way that Corel um, is looking at it. I want to make sure my nudge factor is low. And I'm just going to move this thing over ever so slightly. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. That's pretty good. I'm going to take away our two lines. We don't need them anymore. I'm going to grab our object and I'm going to make a duplicate with Control D. 
I'm going to double click on it and get the rotation. I'm going to put it in the center. A lot of times in all my videos, it doesn't look like it's in the center. But if you double, if you get off of it, it is in the center. Now I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. Control D. Didn't do it. So 60 degrees this time. Control D. There you have it. Now, after I made the first one for the video to make sure I could do it, I started thinking he wanted an object to path. He didn't necessarily say round path. So I don't know if this is what he's talking about or not. And I might try to make another video on another path. And you can see I'm not butted up perfectly. It needs to be a little bit adjusted before I duplicated it. And you, you probably need to watch that. And that's easily fixed beforehand. Anyway, I hope it helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.